Hello, everybody. Welcome to All Villa, No Villa. Aston Villa have got the win. And even more exciting, somehow even more exciting than that, Manchester United. They didn't have one of their dramatic comebacks, did they, today? They got that. They were 1-0 down against Fulham. They came back and they got that late goal. It was one all. And you're thinking, oh, for God's sake. You know, they're going to do it again. Play rubbish. Do absolutely nothing. Somehow clunkily get a goal in the 87th minute and then Scott McTominay will be there to head one home in the 97th minute. And we're all out hearing about how brilliant United are. And, you know, um, they're going to go on the charge into the Champions League. Well, Fulham put paid to that. So thank you very much, Fulham. I just want to say we're now eight points clear of Manchester United. God. Um, I just wanted to get that out of the way because I'm very excited by that late winner. But uh, look, Aston Villa. Oh, my goodness. Why do I feel more stressed out than usual? I have a few grey hairs in my beard. This hair, this this was fully brown before. This I had no grey hairs here. Look at me now. Look at that. Unbelievable, mate. Um, yes, uh, it was a little bit more stressful than it needed to be, wasn't it? Uh, I think from the first minute, Aston Villa were absolutely at it. And I thought Nottingham Forest looked absolutely not at it. I thought Forest's game plan was... I think they were very low energy. Um, I think they were somewhat reminiscent of Manchester United a couple of weeks ago. We should have beaten Man United, but they don't have the quality of player that United had to sort of get away with it. Um, I thought they were low energy. Um, didn't really know when to press us. Uh, it, it was just a kind of half-hearted press is what I would call it. And I think that Newcastle and Chelsea showed you got to be high energy against Villa. You have to put us under pressure. Um, because... Uh, no, if you let Villa come into it, if you let us get get our game going as we did from the first minute today, we we can tear you to pieces, and that's what we did uh, to Forest in the first half. Um, I thought, uh, you know, both sides of the pitch, I was I was really happy with what I saw. I thought Jacob Ramsey looks like he's really getting back to the Ramsey of old, and him and Moreno, Moreno was finding tons and tons of space again down that left hand side. He was giving Nico Williams a few problems down there. And Ramsey and uh, Moreno were having nice link up at quite a few occasions. But it was more the right hand side was where things were really happening. Again, last season you would have said, where can Villa improve? You'd say left hand side. We've, we've, we're like a we're like a plant, you're like seeds that have been planted. And it's but Professor Uno has been watering it, you know, like an Alan, uh, the Basque Alan Titchmarsh. And it's all bloomed. And the, but on the right hand side, it felt a little bit of a. You know, it was in the shadow, you know. Things hadn't grown as quickly now. Oh, my word, the sun has hit. Come to life. It's bloomed. Lovely stuff. Um, I thought Cash, you know, fair play to him. There's been a lot of questions about him recently. Um, you know, uh, some questions about whether, he, he, you know, he's quite up to the level, you know, that Villa wants to get to. And um, I thought today he was excellent. I thought down the right-hand side, him and Bailey had a really, really good relationship. And Leon Bailey... The Rock in WWE calls himself the most electrifying man in sports entertainment today. Leon Bailey's taking your crown, mate. Leon Bailey has walked down that aisle way. He's put The Rock like that in a rock bottom and planted him on the ground. You know, Jack Grealish, we, um, when we used to watch him at Villa, you just couldn't help but think that every single time he got the ball, he was going to do something really, really special. You just expected magic, didn't you? Leon Bailey, this season, has reached that level. Every time he gets the ball, you are expectant. You think that something he's going to do something. He's going to make a, a difficult cutting pass and he'll weight it perfectly. Or he's going to beat a man with um, some outrageous skill and pull it across. And that's exactly what he did for the first goal. Lovely ball into him. I can't remember if it was Cash or McGinn who made that pass. Lovely ball into him. And then he beats his man in fantastic fashion. And then to get that ball through the legs of the Forest Centre defender into Watkins, who's per positioned himself perfectly as a striker for his 14th goal of the season. Most goal involvements in the Premier League, joint with Mo Salah. To think people have questioned him in the past. Give me a break. Um, so uh, a superb start. Brilliant. Uh, he just felt right. Villa need a second goal. Almost got it. Watkins hit it. Cleared off the line from Forrest. Uh, I think that one came from down the left-hand side. But then it was Aston Villa's right once again for that second goal. Um which I know how to think back on. And it was, uh, yes, Cash, lovely ball out to, uh, I think, uh, Cash with a lovely ball 
yes, Cash got down the right, uh, got inside, got, got to the byline, pulls it back. Jacob Ramsey turns, lovely ball back, you know, instinctively knew where Douglas Ruiz was going to be. And again, a brilliant team goal. I think Leon Bailey was involved in that one as well. I'd have to watch that back. And then the third goal as well, again, um, Matty Cash again got the ball and a super pass out to John McGinn. Um, McGinn does well to work it back onto his right hand, right foot, not his strong foot, but a lovely whip ball in and 3 0 Douglas Ruiz. You're thinking we're coasting, we got it good, but there was something about Villa today that I just felt, even when we were coasting and what and dominating, and Forrest were absolutely pathetic in the first 40 minutes, there was still something a bit about us. I thought, hmm. I think there's a there's a ball on here. Forrest can can pull it off, but they're, they're playing so badly that I don't think they're going to get it. And then, of course, they go and get it in at the last moment of the first half. And that came about from a you know that corner came about from sloppy play at the back, passing it straight to them in midfield. They get the corner, and there's something about it's at those set pieces at the moment. That you're not quite certain Villa are going to defend them well. Uh, it was a poor goal to concede, really poor to concede at the end of the first half. I think that for as good as Villa were in the first half, particularly in attack, I just couldn't help but think that uh, Professor Uno would go in at half time and absolutely, as the Rock would say, lay the smack down on them for it. Paul Torres coming off, um, he makes such a massive difference when he plays. You know, the, the reason that defence looks a little bit shaky today and gave away some very weird chances, um, I think you have to say, it probably comes down to the fact that we're missing so many of the key players. Pau Torres having to come off again today. Um, you know, Moreno's been out for so long. He's only just really coming back. He's been back a month or two now, I guess. Um, and you got Conser's out, Diego Carlos is out, Tyron Mings is out. You know, th these things do add up in the end. And um, so, you know, Chambers coming in as well. Fair play. I thought he actually did pretty well on the ball today. He pressed forward worked nicely. Um, but, you know, that that goal conceded at the start of the second half. Good run, good ball from um, uh, Divock Origi, who I think did well. He didn't really go through the centre like a one year. He more went onto the right hand side, and as he was cutting inside, he was causing Villa some problems. And um, you know, it was a lovely ball through to uh, to Morgan Gibbs White. It was a quality player, great finish. Um, but again, defensively, you know, Cash playing him on, yeah, just that back four. You just thought, oh god, you know, are we are we okay? But it turned out. I call those kind of goals false friends, or I call them amigos falsas, false friends. Amigos falsas, because they were false friends, because I think Forrest didn't really deserve that, because I thought that they had been terrible pretty much all game until the final second of the first half, and they got a pretty you know rubbish set-piece goal, but then make all them substitutions. Obviously, they're a bit more energetic. They, you know, We have to react to that. We've just conceded at the end of the first half. Don't concede early and we go and do it. Um, but what does it say about Villa's mental strength? That we didn't let it get to us. We didn't fall away like the Villa of old would have done. There's that term again, the Villa of old. I'm always saying it under Professor Unai because there's so many occasions where you watch a game, you think the Villa of old would have conceded here. The Villa of old would have lost there. The Villa of old wouldn't have won that. The Villa of old would have conceded a third goal or maybe even a fourth and lost. And we'd all go home, you know, sitting there, staring into the distance with a thousand yards there. You know, wondering what the hell's gone on. But the man of magic, Leon Bailey, springs up to the rescue. Well, you know, uh, great press from Ollie Watkins onto the defender. Tielemans did really, really well with his pass. I thought second half, his passing game was exceptional. Um, and uh, yeah, lovely pass, lovely way to pass into Watkins, who his turn was fantastic. And um, went for the shot. Was it a pass? Sort of came off the keeper, back to Bailey. But again, Bailey and Watkins, that partnership, those two players... They are absolutely lethal. And Leon Bailey, you know, the man of magic, David Copperfield looks at him now. He's just going, looking at his hands, like, oh, how do I conjure such magic as that? Gandalf with his staff is just there. Like, you know, I, I led the riders of Rohan down to Helm's Deep. I defeated those evil uruk -hai. And like Leon Bailey, he's got more magic than him. You know, Sauron would give up. He'd throw the ring, he'd throw the ring into, the Mount, Mount, uh, into the cracks of Mount Doom himself. Because you look at Leon Bailey, and you're like, I can't, I can't imagine this guy. Look at him, he's just those dancing feet. It's unbelievable. Imagine Leon Bailey as like a sort of just a sort of a cool dance, you know, if he's like wearing like John Travolta 1970s outfit, dancing away, you know. He's he ah. Oh. I need to I need to I need to buy a Leon Bailey shirt, you know. I, I, I can't believe how good he is this season. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Um, but then yeah. 
There was a, another chance. We just conceded another sloppy chance uh, after Yates came onto the pitch. Again, ball over the top. Very simple. A few of them. A few very easy chances. And you just got to be careful because, you know, Luton coming up next, you got to think those, they've got quite a lot of big players, you know, tight, compact ground. They're going to want to get set pieces. They're going to want to send those you know high balls into the into the area. Uh, got to be very careful of that um, because they're good at home. You know, they've been causing problems for a lot of top teams and they will certainly cause problems for us as well. But for Aston Villa, you know, bear in mind we've lost such key players in Kamara um, recently, uh, Konza, who hopefully will come back soon, Pat Torres in and out. Um, for Villa to come back with the two big wins like that against Fulham and against um, uh, Nottingham Forest, that's excellent stuff. That is excellent. You know, key six points we got there. You know, particularly with that, you know, the pressure of Tottenham behind us. Uh, Man United as well. Love it that Man United lost. Fucking love it. Uh, brilliant. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, yeah, so great stuff. Uh, shaky defence. Supremely good attacking. Forest game plan, I thought, just wasn't at it. Uh, but uh, Villa's game plan, you know, Got the job done in attack, didn't we? Super stuff, super stuff. Let me know what you thought of the game. Uh, let me know about what you thought about our defence, what you thought about our attack. Please like and subscribe. Subscribe down below. If you love Leon Bailey's dancing feet as much as I do, you will click that subscribe button. Aston Villa, we're on our Champions League charge. Come on, Villa, let's do it. Up the mighty Villa. <laughs>